guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Masculine, how's it going? Sherry here. Um, so this is going to be a masculine reading for March the 3rd until the 11th. Um, I think I'm going to try a different spread that I don't think I've ever done a video on. So it's a week in a flash, basically. So it's a snapshot of the next week. So I'm going to pull seven cards, um, but it doesn't represent every day of the week, okay? So there's going to be five cards that represent... Uh, the energy during that time, one um, past card and one future card, and then of course one from the bottom of the deck. So I'm, I think I'm going to use the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So let me pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Actually, and there are no positions to go through because it represents that snapshot, okay? Wow, interesting. And I want to make sure you can see these all. Good. So, one from the bottom of the deck. And I will also use my cards as clarifiers. So let me give those a quick shuffle. So I'll pull three per position. I still need to pull the past and the future. So I'm going to use, I think, um call it Baron Reed. So, Wisdom of the Oracle. For some reason I want to keep those a secret, I don't know why. Okay, so let's begin. So the first card that came up is the Magician. So the Master Manifester. Um, so this card represents self-consciousness. Uh, so when you realize, like when you're in pure conscious state, when you are aware of yourself and your ability to focus your attention on um, certain things, you can actually manifest those ideas into 3D reality. If you continue to focus on them, give them your attention, give it your energy, you can actually pull it from the ethereal realm into 3D. So, the Magician is a number one, right, so it's New Beginnings, um, a card that was pretty evident in the Twin Flame reading was the taking a leap of faith, so you've already made a decision to start this new, um, new, you want to manifest a new dream into reality, okay, so here we have that D desire to manifest is a major arcana, a start. The next card is you building on that, right? So this is uh, also a card of manifestation, right? So um, here we see so much success, right? You are very powerful in your ability to manifest. And so again, there's a sense of you using your tools um, to create this beautiful world and to create to draw abundance into your life. This card is, says dedicated effort. So you are dedicated to creating the Ten of Pentacles in your reality. And within the next week there will be um, a lot of momentum. And that was also a theme in the Twin Flame reading. You building a momentum. You going after that thing that you desire. And if you notice here, there's a picture that the masculine is painting of a man and a woman embracing one another. So it's like you're adding those final finishing touches. The next card is the Nine of Swords, and it's right at the center here. So the Nine of Swords showed up in your past position, this very card. So the Nine of Swords is an ending to feeling helpless, feeling consumed by fear, doubt, worry, right? So you're facing your fears head on, right? There's so much strength that I see here. Um, you know, this is 
a major arcana and it is a part of your of the whole you know there's four different levels of consciousness there's unconsciousness um consciousness uh which is self-consciousness which is the magician then there's subconsciousness which is the uh, high priestess and the superconscious which is the fool so you know the magician is a very important tool you um you the fool activate the magician in order to control the other major arcanas and other suits right so it's a very um powerful energy to be working with and so you know something like this wouldn't be able to stand in that light right remember i'm reading all the cards together all together it's telling one story okay so this is an ending to your fears it's front and center okay you're conquering your fears you're building um you, you're realizing how powerful you are you're clearing those fears okay so next we have the eight of wands and so this card was in your present position uh, for the twin flame reading and so this is building momentum it's acceleration and it is also a card of um, communication right it's Cupid's arrows so success and growth that's that same feel, feel, feeling of you know tapping into this power to manifest your dreams into reality and you know this stepping on the gas right so you know there's this beautiful manifestation that's that you're working towards and um, you're no longer allowing those fears to stand in your way you're facing them head on right you're looking right at those fears and you're conquering them okay so the final card is the destiny card another major arcana so what's very cool is we have a one here and a ten here so it's a completion we got two eights with a nine in the middle so very cool synchronicities happening here um, symmetry so the destiny or flow right there's you know there's a masculine that's immersed in water and so water is emotions okay and so this is surrendering to destiny uh, you know it's a shift a change and things are going to start turning in your direction but what I feel here is surrender um, you know he's got his heart our hand on his heart uh, there's something that he feels drawn to right and so this completion the masculine will be completing a cycle in his life and it's good luck good fortune coming to him as a result of beginning this manifestation it comes to fruition and that was a similar theme that was happening in the twin flame okay so the overall energy is the chariot so another major arcana symmetry again and do you notice how there's these two hands coming together you know for love so I'm actually gonna read that card um, I think it's this one right yeah <laughs> I said is it this one yes it is because it's the same card on the front okay so number seven so this is gonna be your overall energy masculine for the next week so the key words are act, direct, master, discipline, focus, effort. That's exactly what I see. I see focus, effort, realizing your power and this accelerated motion. You know, it's movement, move. Now's the time to be proactive regarding matters of the heart. If you're looking for a relationship, take the initiative to find one. Take advantage of the many ways to meet your soulmate. Aw, this card is about action, action, action. If your current relationship is not moving in the direction you wish, do whatever is required to shift that direction. There's that shift happening with the, t the uh, Wheel of Fortune. It's all about change. Um, you're the master of your own destiny. Oh my God, the synchronicities are crazy. Yes, you are. So don't wait for others to make the first move or set the tone of the relationship. Take charge. 
Creating and sustaining a good relationship requires discipline. It is not enough to be in a relationship. You must invest in it as well. And there's that reciprocation energy coming back again. That was the main theme in the Twin Flame reading. Um, it's not enough. Or sorry, I already read that. Um, be present in, be present in, and focus on the relationship. Give every relationship the opportunity and time that it needs and deserves to flourish and grow. Now is the time to focus on your needs, and the needs of your partner. Make the effort to maintain healthy boundaries for yourself and respect the boundaries of others. While rewarding relationships require effort, there must be a balanced effort from both partners. Perhaps it's time to examine your relationships. Um, are both partners putting forth effort to make the relationship work? Are you comfortable with the amount of effort your relationship requires of you? If any relationship feels draining, it's not worth the effort. Then perhaps it's time to move on. So what I see here is growth right and this desire to work on the relationship to help it to grow wow very cool so the future position is time to take a nap and the past position is treasure island cool okay so let me read those as well so it's another nine and a six okay with the book so I'll read the past position first, nine. Now, immediately I'm reminded of the Ten of Pentacles as a foundation. Um, the success, uh, success and abundance and a sense of achievement. All right, so very cool synchronicity there. So let me read it to you. So Treasure Island, the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. And... Um, the crowning energy for the Twin Flame reading was bringing dreams into fruition. And that's what I'm seeing here, is you manifesting those dreams into reality. So, um, the result of positive thinking made manifest, yes. Abundance appearing in all forms from nowhere. Financial gains and sharing of good fortune. So, the relationship message. Your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But you may not see that right now. No, ma no matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. There's that word of discovery again. You'll have to definitely watch a Twin Flame reading. That was very important. The masculine feels like he's arrived at this place and now he's discovering some things. Um, discovering secrets. So romance blooms and love is in the air. Aw, oh, yes it is. You will be assured that this um, partnership will bring you great gifts. Oh my God, <laughs> that's hilarious. The synchronicities are just crazy because the feminine got giving gifts as what she's bringing into the union. And the whole reading was about the feminine being open and being generous, Re reciprocation. So the message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. Nice. So this is what he's bringing in from the past, Treasure Island. And, you know, it's a, a very f similar energy to the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's like he has his vision and he gets to work on making it a reality. And he does. And there's, you know, it's the turn, <clears throat> sorry, the turn of the wheel um, brings more abundance into his life. So, time for nap number 24 in the future. Okay, so rest, rejuvenation, and renewal. Temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. This is a time to step away and rest. Yes, and so he had the four swords actually in what he was bringing into the union. Um, there was a lot of healing happening. Go into state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, uh, your lists, your desires. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom. If you don't step back, take a seat and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent 
any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. Okay, so there's that observing energy, stepping back and, um, you know, just allowing destiny to, to happen. So I actually just realized I read the wrong one. I, that was the oracle message. So let me read the relationship message. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's that matters of the heart again. Um, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's a good, it's good, bleh. it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. And yeah, that's what I was feeling in the near future. Remember, you had the four of cups there, um, you know, and it was him kind of reflect, and it came with the heart chakra as well. So there's this time of reflection, and that actually opens your heart up. So it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with somebody, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force, it, don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally, and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. There's that Wheel of Fortune again, right? It's this, it's this beautiful surrender. He's immersed in emotions and allowing Patience is a key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it the rest. Uh, that Give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, so I, I feel that's beautiful. I mean, he's, put, he's putting a lot of work and effort into manifesting his, his desires at the beginning of the week. At the week, beginning of the week um, and there's a sense that he faces his fears and, and it empowers him, um, right? And there's movement forward towards the feminine, but as a future outcome, he needs to rest. You know, there's this lot of exerted effort put forth and, and, you know, there's a sense of achieving a lot during that period of time. Okay, so... Let me read a final message from the universe. Oh, that's kind of funny. I actually didn't pull any clarifiers. I don't think we need any. Um, let's use Miss and Mermaids. Okay, that one. Tiger Lily, Tiger Nautilus. So that's a Divine Feminine card. Wow. Okay, so that I feel that that connection here desiring to reach out and connect with the feminine and it's like maybe he does he real he manifests that into his reality and that gives him a sense of being able to rest now i don't know let me know masculines if this resonates with you please i love your comments oh wrong one shoot yeah okay that was the right one so number four sorry about that Okay, so it says, O oh, Tiger Lily, my, my goddess, my grace, a vision like you stops a soul in its place. Such queenly compassion, such posture and poise. Let me know in an instant you're unlike the boys. So supple, sy symmetrical, shapely and smooth. Such balance and ease in the way that you move. Your smile is of mercy, your manner of tact, your beauty apparent in each tender act. What love and kind charity shines on your face, O oh, Tiger Lily, my goddess, my grace. Graceful young woman, bedecked by bright tiger lilies, tenderly holds the shell of a tiger nautilus close to her bosom. Her choice of adornment is reflective of her feminine beauty and elegant style. So the meanings embrace her femininity. The feminine power is a radiance that shines from women and girls who are securely anchored with their bodies and souls. Okay, so it's really for, um, reflecting on the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, this groundedness that the, you know, the feminine was kind of projecting in the twin flame reading. Um, now is the time to welcome this power. It is your right to be beautiful inside and out. Awaken the queen inside of you and let her blossom. Not a woman, not a problem. Look for the opportunities to get closer to women in your life, be it your mother, sister, lover, or wife. Try to look through her eyes to help you get in touch with your feminine side. 
and allow her spirit and compassion to influence some upcoming decisions. Nice. So the masculine, I feel very strongly, is that he, 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 he's open to, you know, giving him, himself to the relationship, and he feels very grounded in the relationship. And, um, yeah. So his focus is going to be the feminine for the next week. All right. I hope this helps you guys. I'm sending massive love your way. Cheers.